Speed Day. Okay, never mind. Welcome, Thornley staff and students, family and friends to Speed Day. I hope you had a safe drive, but also hope you enjoy the show. Just some quick tips before we start. One, please make sure your cell phones and pagers and fax machines are all turned off until the end of the show. It could be really annoying, and I mean, you know, well, really annoying. Two, please refrain from standing up while the show is playing, as we will be having a short intermission during the play. And third, we worked on the play, so try not to laugh, as the actors will really appreciate it. Just kidding, you know you can laugh. Well, that's pretty much it, so without further ado...
those people who makes animals your whole life, are you? You don't have one of those, I don't need people because I have a pet complexes. Do you? What? Oh no, animals just, who cares about animals? Oh, I get it. You're an I don't need anyone kind of guy. No, 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 I need people. I'm a people leader. I need people. Sorry, I don't date needy guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, my little new cat. No, yes, maybe, no, absolutely not. I'll take you out tonight for a romantic Italian dinner. Sorry, can't, I'm allergic. To dinner or to romance? To wheat, it upsets mine. And seafood, what's to suggest they're an aphrodisiac? Sorry, shellfish, I get hives. Chocolate fondue, uh -huh. Chocolate makes me suffocate. How about a roll in the hay, uh -huh. I have hay fever. Skydiving. I'm allergic to air. No, you are allergic to life. Life? No. The body doesn't lie. I smell you and I know. You are for me. Listen, I don't give you my type. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean that. Kiss me, what am I saying? You had me at hello. Sean. 
Laura. Hi, Sean. Laura. Oh, I dated a girl named Laura once. Cool. I like your tie. Thanks. Cynthia gave it to me. Cynthia? Is that your... My ex. Oh. Recent? No, oh, no. It's been years. Oh, good. Because sometimes people get get kind of hung up. That's one of the great things about speed dating. Moving on. Meeting new. Two years. 37 days. Five hours and 32 minutes since we broke up. <laughs> since she left me. But I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready to date. <laughs> to be in the dating pool. Cool, but Sometimes you just gotta dive in! What did you say? Sometimes you just gotta dive, dive in. in. Michelle used to say that. Oh! <laughs> Michelle! Is that recent? No, ancient history. We're way ex. Ex, ex, ex. A whole week. So, do you like to travel? Yeah, Michelle speaks. Spoke six languages. She and I went to Europe once and have you ever been to Paris? Let me guess, Michelle loves Paris. <laughs> no, no. Lucy loved Paris. Lucy? <laughs> <laughs> Is she here? My girlfriend before Cynthia, before Michelle. Lucy the model. She was Italian. I hate Italy. So did Abigail, and Anna wasn't fond of Italy either. Listen, I don't know how to say this politely, but I really don't want to hear about Anna. Neither did Maggie. I don't want to hear about Anna or Maggie or Lucy or Michelle or Abigail or Paris. Who's Paris? Or Cynthia! Cynthia, what do you have to bring into this? I'm trying to get over her. Look, this isn't going so well. Maybe we should just sit here and not talk for a second. Oh, I get it. You're the jealous type. Jealous? Of what? I don't even know you! Good, because Margaret was extremely jealous. And that just didn't work out. I could never date someone who was jealous of my ex-girlfriend. That's totally insane, Caroline! I'm Laura. Laura, Laura, Laura! You don't need to get so crazy, Laura. Amy, she was crazy. Hmm. Was it something I said to me? of love. <laughs> don't be shy. Smell. What? No, you don't know what love is, you French weirdo. Love is like shiver your back when you see your pride and joy and you can't stop. It just can't stop rethinking who you saw. Okay, your point is love gives you spine problems. People just don't get it anymore. I remember when love was... Okay, okay. Enough of this. Yeah, be out. I get it. You know love. Whatever. I'm gonna go find the bathroom and do me a favor. Francois. Francois. Get rid of the smell, because to be honest, smell is not love. What is wrong with this smell? The smell might freak you out, so just drop this man. Use your accent more, the, the ladies like it, trust me. The accent? <laughs> Merci. <laughs> the name's Carl. Merci, Carl. In my culture. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Where's the bathroom? Other way, Carl. <laughs> Carl. Carl. Ah. Other way, Carl. <laughs> that way. Oh, wait. Uh, down the hole to the left. Merci. Here. Uh, <coughs> I'm good. 
I'll be up and running right after the quick intermission. I'll be over by all the snacks and drinks, taking my prescription pills that this phony gave me. But I'll see you there in a bit. I heard there's gonna be free cupcakes, snacks, and applesauce. Well, maybe applesauce. I don't know anymore with these speed dinners. Can you reach my cell phone by my leg? No, the other leg. No, for Christine's sake, just leave it. Anyways, 10 minute intermission. Let's go. <laughs> Jingle, breaking hearts and shooting in the dance. 
Breaking rocks out here on the chain gang Cause it don't come to me Hi, I'm John. John? Pat. Nice to meet you. Have a seat. Uh, there's no... Absolutely. Same to you. So, John, what do you currently do? I don't think we're supposed to talk about a profession. Ha! <laughs> He's hilarious. Jim, he works for me. He's saying Friday. Friday isn't possible. 29 bills of hay? Of course not. Not possible. Not check out our profession, huh? Okay? Profession? Interested at all. Would you agree with that? Oh, uh, I guess, I mean, if your identity tends to get wrapped up. And how about peat moss, he says? If not hay, then peat moss. They're completely different things. People are stupid, John. Do you think? Anyways, what were you saying? I'm listening. Oh, yes, I completely agree. A person can get way too wrapped up in work, and it's really not healthy. I agree. Relationships suffer with too much work. Do you do that? I try not to. Let's talk about you, John. What is your best quality? Um. Or your worst? I guess I'm. Huh. Or three adjectives that others would use to describe you. I don't know words I just would use. Friday? The hay's got to be there Friday, or it's my butt on the line. You're crazy. I'm telling you, crazy. Mm -hmm. Tell me about yourself, John. What is quality that makes you right now to the show? Go ahead. I must tell me something revealing. Well, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I think I'm finally to have I'm finally ready to have a real relationship to meet someone, maybe. Fantastic. You're hired. But you start tomorrow. But this <laughs> isn't a this is a date! Sorry, huh? Can't be employees. It's a sexual harassment, you know? But you knew how it was bad for me.
others from Hamlet. <laughs> Am I boring you? You think I'm crazy, don't you? No, you don't want to hear about my cats. 
It's just that I don't know them. I'm sure if I knew them or had cats, I could relate. I just love cats more than people. <laughs> okay, um, Emmanuel Cats, Louis Lamore. What? Huh? I saw Star Wars. Yes, yes, Darth Vader. I am your father, Luke. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. No, dude, that's not my strike back. Luke, I am your father. Same thing, right? Not the same, dude. It's only not the same. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my idea to come here, you know? It was my friend Edith's idea. She says I don't get out enough. Not since Sammy died. Sammy's a Siamese too. No, my husband. Oh, I'm <laughs> so sorry! <laughs> she talked to me. He was yours. Wow. Yeah. Huh. That's what most people say. I don't know that I could ever love another person, that is. Cats, on the other hand. <laughs> This is Milo, he's an avid reader. <laughs> Mickey likes to hide on the bookshelf, and Tim likes to drink out of my teacup and pint gun. Hey, the time dude is all, go back to the mini mall, zombie scum. <laughs> Wait, dude, I love your dress. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I want to be a part of it. New York, New York, these vagabond shoes are longing to stray. I still feel like there's one more person. Mm, bingo. And I was saying, dude, Darth Vader. Hey, John, what's wrong? Mom, I'm not sticking with you. Oh, can I help you? You know, when I was younger, the girls in high school would call me John Stangose. <laughs> Excuse me, old man. Um, are you lost? No, I'm here to teach you what love is really about. So you have to end up here every Friday. Uh, thanks for the lessons, coach, but I think I'll pass. Hey, hey, hey you can't run away from love, Timmy. The name's Brad, not Timmy. Oh, I'm sorry, Brad. Anyways. The way wait, 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 did you just say bread? It's brat. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, bread. Brat. Bread. B. R. A. D. Brat. Oh, Brad. Should I just said that in the first place, you weirdo? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't think I got your name. It's Carl. Oh, nice to meet you. Steve. Nancy, 
What are you doing here? Dating? I thought you said you needed time alone to not be in a relationship. I thought you were joining the freaking Peace Corps. <laughs> Whiskey people, keep looking, keep searching. Hi. 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 Hi.